Hello and welcome to this video where we will look at how to create dynamic images in Power BI, images that we will use in our tables, slicers, and even a custom tooltip. Now you are probably familiar with being able to insert static images on a page, just like the logo of the coffee house I have on this page. We can do that by simply clicking our insert tab on the ribbon and using the image button on here. But we want images that we can filter and return with DAX calculations. We want dynamic images. Now to use dynamic images reliably across all aspects of Power BI, they need to be anonymously accessible. So they need to be in a public URL and I'm using the URL for my website in this video. We can see that because if I go to the data view of Power BI, and here I am on a table called reps, and I can see this column called photo with the URLs of these representatives that I have in this data model. At this point, we should categorize that. So if I click on the photo column, and on the column tools tab, there is the data category dropdown where I can choose image URL. And with those URLs, with that column categorized, if I switch back to report view, we can then add those images to this table visual. I'll click on my table and over to the right, I will drag the photo column from the data pane into the table visual. And here we have it. I'll resize the table so they fit in. And this table visual is filtered to show the top five reps only. And there they are. There are our top five sales reps. And to show that that is dynamic, if I was to click on one of the columns in the column chart, such as for Northwest, you can see that it filters that visual and the images change as they are in context with the name of the rep. Now that's pretty cool. Now in this example, this column chart that I just used, I actually have a custom tooltip applied to that visual. So if I hover my mouse over one of the columns, I have this tooltip page that I created before this video, and this is showing me the top sales rep. So that's using the same photo column that we just looked at and is bringing across the name and image of that top sales rep. A pretty cool use of a dynamic image in Power BI. For a final example of these images being used, here I am on another page and they're being used in a slicer visual. So as I click on the image of one of the reps, the line chart below changes to show the sales for that rep. So sure, this is a simple line chart and demo of an image in a slicer, but I want to show what is possible. So adding dynamic images to your Power BI reports is quite simple. It is encouraged that they are publicly available at a URL so that they can easily be accessed across to Power BI. And then we can use them within our tables, our slicers, and even in custom tooltips. Do you use images in your Power BI reports? And how do you use them? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to ensure that you receive the latest Excel and Power BI videos released at this channel. Take care, and I will see you again soon.